as slaves were allowed to meet for Christian services. Some Christian ministers, such as J.D. Long, wrote against slavery. Slaves in the Antebellum South constituted about one-third of the southern population. Most slaves lived on large farms or small plantations. Many masters owned less than 50 slaves. Slave owners sought to make their slaves completely dependent on them. And a system of restricted codes governed life among slaves. They were prohibited from learning to read and write. And their behavior and movement was restri restricted. Many masters took sexual liberties with slave women and rewarded obedient slave behavior with favors, while rebellious slaves were brutally punished. A strict hierarchy among slaves from privileged house slaves and skilled artisans down to lowly field hands helped keep them divided and less likely to organize against their masters. Slave marriages had no legal basis. But slaves did marry and raise large families. Most slave owners encouraged this practice, but nonetheless did not hesitate to divide slave families by sale or removal. Rural slaves used to stay after regular worship services in churches or in plantation praise houses for singing and dancing. But slaveholders did not allow dancing and playing drums as usual in Africa. They also had meetings at secret places called camp meetings and bush meetings because they needed to meet one another and share their joys, their pains, and their hopes. In rural meetings, thousands of slaves would gather and listen to itinerant preachers and sang spiritual songs for hours. In the late 1700s, they sang the precursors of spirituals, which were called corn beans. The lyrics of Negro spirituals were tightly linked with the lives of their authors. While work songs dealt only with their daily life, spirituals were inspired by the message of Jesus Christ and his good news, the Bible. Right. The message was, you can be saved. They are different from hymns and psalms because they were a way of sharing the hard condition of being a slave. At church, hymns and psalms were sung during services. Some of them were transformed into songs of a typical African American form that's called Dr. Watts. Let's peek in on what might have been a slave's worship service. As this choir comes to us in song of Jesus is on the main line. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. It's amazing how the Lord provides. And I know, I know the Lord will make the way. Jesus is on the main line.
NAACP, another civil rights group, organized a massive African American voter registration drive in Mississippi known as Freedom Summer. Three core civil rights workers were murdered. In the five years following Freedom Summer, black voter registration in Mississippi will rise from a mere 7% to 67%. All right. In 1967, Edward W. Brooke becomes the first African-American U.S. Senator since Reconstruction. In 1971, the Reverend Jesse Jackson found, found Operation Push. In 1983, Guy Booker Jr. becomes the first African-American in space flying aboard the space shuttle Challenger. You can't tell me, the Lord won't make a way. Moving on into the 2000s, in the largest settlement ever in a U.S. racial discrimi discrimination suit, the Coca-Cola company agrees to pay out $192.5 million to roughly 2,000 African American employees. In 2012, African American voter turnout was greater than their white counterparts in the presidential race of Barack Obama.
of America's song and fun song. We live in a moment when the dream of opportunity is within reach for people of every color and every creed. African Americans have improved their social and economic standing significantly since the Civil Rights Movement and recent decades have witnessed the expansion of a robust African American middle class across the United States. Unprecedented access to higher education and employment in addition to representation in the highest level of American government has been gained by African Americans in the post-civil rights era. Nevertheless, due in part to the legacy of slavery, racism, and discrimination, African Americans as a group remain at a pronounced economic, educational, and social disadvantage in many areas relative to European Americans. Persistent social, economic, and political issues for many African Americans include inadequate health, yeah. Institutional racism, yes. discrimination in housing, yes. education, yes. policy, yes. criminal justice and employment, yes. crime, yes. poverty, yes. and substance abuse. Yes. So you see, we still have a struggle, and we have got to conquer. We got to hold on. We got to. Keep the faith. Yes. Yes. More change is coming. Yeah. We must continue to fight and improve our communities and our quality of life. Yeah. We can no longer sit back and claim to be victims. Yeah. We must stand and fight yeah. just as our ancestors fought. They didn't give up. They kept the faith. Yeah. We must love one another.
Yeah. Uh -huh.
Thank you so much for coming today and sharing the afternoon with us. We appreciate your being here. We hope that we have inspired you or encouraged you in some way. We've had lots of fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun in rehearsal yesterday. I think we wore our chair and had a yesterday. But the rehearsal is really going to stop. But we are so thankful that you are here with us. And we ask God's blessings on each and every one of you. Now I want to thank all the choir members for the hard work they've done. Young man who was singing that is Brother Lonnie Wilson. We want to thank Cassandra Hall for doing the program for us. And our pastor, our usher, everyone who has made this uh, afternoon a success. Thank you so much. All our musicians have been behind us working. So we're just grateful. Our director, as you can tell, she's the backbone of her. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I, I think her backbone is a little bit looser than her. And now uh, our pastor is going to come uh, with our offertory period, and we will be leaving shortly. Multiply 36 
get it from a hundredfold. You know what we're doing around here. So help, Lord. Help, Lord. Bless, Lord. Bless, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Christ Jesus. Amen.
you do better than that. Show some love. Thank you. 